Hi everyone. In this uh, video, I'll be running through the dplyr join functions. So as usual, let's load the tidyverse package. First, all right. So let's take a look at the sample data, which is the same as the sample data in the slides. So first we have three band members and three band instruments. The band members are Mick, John, and Paul, and the bands that they are in. The band instruments are John, Paul, and Keith, and the instruments that they play. So the inner join, as you recall, includes observations that appear in both data frames. In this case, John and Paul. Whereas the full join includes all of the people which appear in either table. So Mick and Keith both appear in, in this table. Since uh, we're missing what Mick plays, that's NA. And since we're missing the band that Keith is in, that's NA too. The left join keeps everything keeps all the band members, uh, but of course adds the missing plays value. Semi-join keeps only the band, uh, sorry, only the observations, the band members who also appear in the band instruments. So Mick is missing, but John and Paul are, are present. On the other hand, the anti-join keeps the members that are missing only, so in this case it only keeps Mick and it drops John and Paul. When you do the joining, uh, dplyr joins using the columns that have the same name. So remember that uh, band members has the columns name and band, and band instruments has the columns name and place. So the same column appears in both tables and that's how you can do the matching. If you try to match two tables which do not have the same column names, you'll get an error. So for example, band instruments 2 has columns artist and plays, whereas band members has columns name and band. So you can see that there's no matching uh, columns names and so you get an error. The easiest way to fix the error is to rename the columns. So if you did that, and you look at band instruments new, you'll see that now it's called name and place. So that's good. We can ma have the matching column name now. So if you did a left join, for example, now you don't get any errors. All right, so that's all for the dplyr join functions. Do look at the dplyr functions slides if you need to learn more about how the joining functions work, because that might make it more clear. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye.